Uh, we are excited. Uh, we know that uh, this is a new beginning for Amir. This is a new chapter. Uh, first at 140 now, and I'm sure eventually at 147. But we weren't going to look forward. I know Amir is not going to make the mistake. We as a team are not going to make the mistake. We're taking Carlos Molina serious, very serious. So here now to tell you more on how he feels and uh, what he plans to do is no other than a great fighter, a great friend, Amir King Khan. Hi everyone. Um, <clears throat> and thanks for thanks for turning up. It's great media turn it today, and you know, I just want to thank you for all your support and stuff. Um, yeah, you know, we've changed a lot of stuff um, for this upcoming fight. Um, first of all, the trainer, which I think is a massive part of the camp. Um, the reason I changed trainer was because, you know, you always, um, when, when you're always winning a fight, you never look at the bad points. But when, when you lose a fight, that's when you sit down with the team and you go through the whole camp and where you think you've gone wrong in the previous fights. And I think where I went wrong, you know, I mean, Freddie's a great trainer, but I just wasn't getting everything I wanted from Freddie. Uh, Fred is a very, very, very busy guy, one of the best trainers in the world, and I was personally the one who called Freddie on the phone, and uh, I spoke to him and I said, look, I'm no longer going to be training with you, and I want to move trainers, and I'm going to be training with Virgil Hunter, and, you know, he wished me all the very, very best, and we just moved on from there, uh, but now we're going to be training with Virgil, Virgil's a great coach, um, I know Andre Ward from the amateur days, so I can't, he had a very similar style to me. So I thought, you know, the way he's adapted as a professional, I thought, you know, maybe Virgil can teach me the defensive side. So I did a, I did a workout with Virgil in New York a couple of months back, and I liked everything he taught me. And it seemed to me that he, there was still so much to learn, you know, being part of that uh, training session. So that's why I, uh, we, we employed him for the next fight. And hopefully we'll just keep going up. I mean, we're fighting an unbeaten fighter this next fight, Carlos Molina. You know, I, I mean, one thing I've never done, you know, taken any fight lightly. And, you know, it's not been a good year. I mean, having two defeats, um, just have to come back stronger now. I mean, um, you know, mentally I'm prepared. And I know there's no more mistakes. I'm going to be trained 100 times harder than I've ever been training. And I think this new change is going to make a massive difference. You know, moving camps from L.A. to um, Oakland is, is going to be a big change. And it's going to be tough, but it's just one of them things, you know, these sacrifices have to be made. My uncle's already there, coordinating the camp, making sure everything's going to be fine. Um, but, you know, I mean, like I said, any unbeaten fight is tough. P people say he's, he's, he's a lightweight, but with Molina, he's only fought a lightweight three times. And his other fights have been between 138 and 141. So, you know, I think it, it, it's an ideal fight for us. We have to win this fight to um, come, back, come back and be right at the top. And I can promise you, like, next year, you know, we will fight for a world title and win, win a world title and become a world champion again. But um, I just want to thank um, uh, Sky for, for their support. Um, Sky, the fight will be on Sky Sports 1 HD also. Steven Espinosa, who uh, I've met numerous times, and we work, we work together a lot. Um, the fight's going to be on Showtime. So I'm looking forward to work with Showtime. And a big thanks to Golden Boy Promotions you know, for turning up or coming all the way from America just to hold a press conference and spend the day here. I think um, it just shows, you know, how close we are as a team, Khan Promotions and Golden Boy. We have a close relationship and we hope that's going to go on and on. Um, so the fight's going to be in LA Sports Centre. That's downtown LA. I hope the UK fans turn up. There's going to be, I'm sure Molina's going to bring a big fan base and I'm sure my UK fans plus my American fans are going to turn up and we'll make sure that we'll finish the year off with a bang and it'll be, it'll be an exciting fight. Thanks again for turning up and just want to say thank you to um, Maximo So JD Sports and also Mayfair Hotel for letting us host our press conference here. Thank you. Thank you, Mir. So now we're going to open it up for questions. Yes. Um, with Virgil, you know, we, we, we spoke about things and I'm an offensive trainer. I mean, I'm an offensive fighter. And I need my trainer to teach me the defensive part of training at the same time being offensively as good. Now, um, when I had a training session with Virgil, Virgil said, look, he knew what mistakes I was making, where the hands have to be when I throw a shot. And I'd... so that's what we're going to be working on. Um, we know exactly what we have to do. We've never really had defense. If you think about it, me and Manny Pacquiao have a very similar style, you know, in and out and get caught with a lot of shots. But offensively, we're probably the best out there. But I think it's time now to be smart. I mean, and, and, and win fights with the, with the Bruins. What do you know about your opponent, Carlos 
Um, Carlos Molina, look, he's an undefeated fighter. I mean, all undefeated fighters are very, um, very dangerous. Uh, I know he's going to be up for this fight. It's a step up for him. And in a way, it's a step up for me because coming back from a defeat, um, I have to win this fight in good fashion. Thank you.